Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Much of the power in Crystal Reports lies in its ability to use powerful analytical functions and mathematical expressions to create complex formulas which can manipulate and further calculate the data displayed in the report. For example, you could create a formula in a field that multiplies the values in one field by the values displayed in another field. And this is just one example of the ways in which formulas can be used within Crystal Reports. So in this lesson, we'll examine the ways in which we can write formulas in Crystal Reports. There's two different ways of writing formulas which are accepted. You can either use the Crystal Syntax or the Basic Syntax. A syntax is simply an accepted way of writing an expression. Crystal Syntax is the way of writing formulas which has always been included in all releases of Crystal Reports. The basic syntax is similar to the way of expressing statements used in Visual Basic, but has specific reporting variations implemented. And you can use both types of formulas in your reports. You simply have the flexibility of choosing whichever syntax you prefer to use and are more skilled or comfortable in using. Now all formulas, regardless of how they're expressed, make use of some common elements. These various elements are combined together using the rules of expression that govern our selected syntax, either crystal or basic, to create the formulas in our reports. When you are creating report formulas, you will frequently need to make reference to fields in the underlying tables or in the report. These will always be in the format of table name dot field name and will always be enclosed in braces. So for example here we're looking at this amount sold field which we have created from the data in our tables you can see we are taking a reference to the unit price field out of the order detail table. Functions are also available for selection and they are grouped into different categories such as math, summary, financial, strings, Functions are preset mathematical and analytical operations that can be performed upon values contained within your report. And there are many different categories of functions available that can perform different operations on different types of numeric, date, time, and string, or text values. Functions are always entered in as the name of the function, for example, sum, and then after the name of the function, they are followed by one or more additional arguments required by the function to work, with each argument separated by a comma. So for example, we could put in average, open parenthesis, and then all the arguments, usually followed by a close parenthesis, much like you would use a function in Excel, for example. We also have operators. In Crystal Reports allows for the use of several standard mathematical and comparison operators in reports. Once again, they are grouped by different categories such as arithmetic, conversion, string. And so we can use things like the plus sign for addition, the percent sign for a percentage, a negative sign or a minus sign for a negative value, or in this formula here, an asterisk for multiplication. So in order to read this formula, which is currently being shown in the crystal syntax, we have a reference to the unit price field from the order detail table, multiplied times the quantity field in the order detail table, which comes up with the amount sold field. Also, you can make a reference to string or text values within a formula by simply enclosing the desired text within either single or double quotation marks. Numbers are entered as plain values with no commas or other punctuation required. As far as making a reference to another formula field, other formula fields can be referenced as well. They would just simply be the name of the formula field prefaced with an at sign, once again enclosed in braces. So if I wanted a field, for example, in my report that took 10% of the amount sold, perhaps as a commission level, 
I could simply choose formula fields in my field explorer, click the new button and give it a name. Then I would click the use editor button. That will bring up the formula editor window. And here I could say, take a reference to amount sold. times point one zero. And then we could drop that wherever we would want it to go into the report, just like a regular field. So when we preview it, we should see the total amount sold, and then to the right of that you should see about 10% of that. Now because of its location in the group footer, it's not showing the exact data that we want, but you can see that the syntax is what we're trying to focus on in this lesson. And it's important that we are able to create the references to the fields, the operators, and the functions that are necessary. Now formulas are not case sensitive. They're also not sensitive to carriage returns or spaces. You can certainly use spaces in carriage returns to make the formulas that you compose more comprehensible and easier to read, but they're not necessary or required per se. However, you cannot place a carriage return within quote or text values as this generates an error in your formula. Also, any lines within a formula that begins with two forward slash symbols will be ignored by Crystal Reports. These are comments, and that symbol of two forward slashes are used to denote comments. Very complex formulas can often benefit from commentary that clarify their purpose. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.